What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. We're starting things off today with the Corvette build Dionys. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but then again I never do. Um, so obviously for any of you that are super familiar with the game and recognize those modular thrusters and these bigger thrusters, you can tell this is a modded build. Actually, didn't do it on purpose, but it happens that all of the ships this episode are going to be modded builds because I really like them. It happens. Uh, the description for this one is pretty light though, so other than the name and that it's a Corvette and some of the dimensions and stuff, I really don't know much about it in terms of purpose or special features or anything like that, so we're just going to have to kind of poke our heads around and see what we can find, but particularly um, if it wasn't already obvious, one of the biggest things I liked about this ship was the exterior design. It's very different in a really cool way. Uh, particularly this, like, nose-chin kind of thing it has going on with the bigger angled thruster pods kind of thing. It's just a really different kind of look, but a really cool one, and it really works for the ship. I do think at some point they need to like add this kind of block into the game through vanilla that's just a one block airlock. You could have sliding doors, regular doors, and then like an airlock block. That would be cool. Um, that's... I don't know where I am. Let's just go this way. Because long hallway, why not? Uh, so here's the cryo room and the vent system. So Now, for those of you that may not be aware, uh, the game did go through a major patch uh, this last Thursday, which was focused entirely on like optimiz optimizations and bug fixes and things like that. So, um, theoretically, we should see a noticeable difference in actually probably more the Inspiration series than my Let's Play series. I mentioned it briefly in my Let's Play series in the episode yesterday. Um, but we'll probably notice the most difference or, or impact from that f on the... Ooh, now that's cool. That's a neat idea. I didn't think to do that. It's a glass window pane, but then with uh, railings over top of it. That's kind of cool. Oh, you know what it is, though? These are These are modded. Because the typical railings, I don't think you can do without the rest of the catwalk. So that might not work on a vanilla build. Um, so yeah. But yeah, some of the bigger builds or heavily modded builds or things like that, we should actually see an improvement on them uh, in this series more so. Because the Let's Play series, I haven't really delved into anything too large in terms of build size or anything like that, other than the fact that we're dealing with planets. But this one, we do a lot of large builds and complex stuff and a lot of mods and things like that. So hopefully, we will see a lot of noticeable improvement. So we have Klingon Plasma Beam, uh, camera there, looks like the beacon there. Uh, thrusters, batteries, and turrets, it looks like, and then stuff that I don't know what it is. So overall, let's check out its speed. Wow! I was looking over here on the right side, not looking on the left at the speedometer that just shoots up as soon as you take off. That's really cool, though, for it to... I'm surprised it's not making any noise, though. Hmm, that's interesting, because usually those modular thrusters are really loud. Unless that's not the same mod, they look like the same mod. Oh! There we got a little something. That was weird. So, yeah, this ship really moves, actually. Like, for being a, as large of a ship as it is, and how many blocks it has and everything. Oh, that's the other thing that they said they did, was they actually improved the third-person camera to where there's less snapping into first-person when you are trying to pan around. You'll notice that it's kind of extending backwards and then following the build rather than snapping to first-person, even though I'm really zoomed in as I back up, it rides along the back structure of the, of the build. So we should have a lot less of that really irritating pop in and out type of thing of the first person camera. 
hopefully, if all goes well. So a couple of really big um, upgrades that ironically affect the Inspiration series far more than my Let's Play series at the moment. You would think Let's Plays are bigger and more vast in building bases and not just showing off a ship at a time. But between the third person fixes and uh, the optimizations, I think I'm going to get a bigger return on the Inspiration series than anything else. But I think that's going to do it for this one. I honestly thought there was a little bit more interior to explore given the size of the ship, but I really like the exterior, to be honest. That, that was kind of the main appeal. Um was the exterior of the build and I don't know if I missed any compartments or secret passages I could have but I don't see them so we're gonna move on to the next one alrighty so next up we have the Skylark personnel shuttle mark 2 I believe uh, as the name implies this is a passenger shuttle I believe the description said it could house up to 24 passengers I, I believe that was the... how did they get... oh, that's all glass. I was like, how did they get this cool glossy look? It's all glass, looks like. Um, once again, this is another modded build. As I said before, everything in this episode ended up being a modded build. I believe, as long as I'm going along and all of the mo uh, builds that I chose actually work for me. If there's ever a complication or something, then that may not hold true, but if all goes well, then all the ones that I picked originally should be modded builds. Um, this is another smaller ship, so it shouldn't take too long to go through, but again, I really like the look. Um, it had a kind of... it doesn't just look like a generic fighter. It has kind of a cool, sleek aerodynamic and a lot of cool edges and curves. I particularly like these um, adjustable fins. That's a cool... a really cool touch, and from the back and stuff, it kind of looks neat. Kind of reminds me of an X-Wing type thing, how they could unfold and fold up and all that. It has atmospheric and ion thrusters so that it can transition, though the description made it sound like transitioning is very difficult, or somewhat difficult, in that you have to obtain maximum velocity and stuff to actually get out of the planet. Um, so keep that in mind. And then we have the back here, with convenient signs. Safety lock and reverse. Okay. So turn that back on. So that should be closed and then we can seal this. And then this is the actual passenger area. So they have convenient little tables and screens. And all that good stuff. Uh, with a med bay, just in case. Safety lock and release. Oh, very cool. So this is the ramp up to uh, the bridge or cockpit. Now is there a... there it is. So reverse ramp, and then when it gets up here we'll lock it. We got a co-pilot seat over there and there I'm assuming. Hull integrity 98%! Wasn't me, I didn't do it. Probably was. Um, so that should... yeah, that's lock ramp. All right. So we'll get in here, and I love this view. You guys know me. You know how much I like glass everything when it comes to space and underwater. So love, 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 love this view we got going on here. Actually, we're going to step out and look, because it's actually all around the back, too. It's not just um, forward-facing. It's actually all the way around the back. And actually, it could serve a, a, a cool purpose as well for uh, damage and stuff. You could kind of look out and, oh, that thruster's not firing right, you know, stuff of that nature. But overall, it just makes for a great spectacle. Um, okay, so now what do we got here? Unlock, lock the flaps, reverse flaps, increase engine thrust, decrease thrust, unlock and reverse cockpit ramp, unlock and reverse main ramp, and weapons. Now, it did say it is lightly armed with some auto turrets, but... Um, definitely not a fighter. So let's mess with the flaps real quick. So if we unlock them and then reverse, it said, how far do they go? I don't know. I'm assuming they're they're clamped to something, some some degree. Okay, so they fold up. That's pretty cool. And then if we reverse them again, how far out did they go? Did they go back out to where they were? I'm assuming. 
Or do they go further? Looks like they go out to where they were. And then we'll safety lock those so that they don't roll around. And then in terms of speed... Now granted, we are just running on the ion thrusters because we're not in an atmosphere. So in an atmosphere, I don't know if you would move any faster or if it would just basically negate the... Um, if it would just end up negating the gravity type of thing. I'm not really sure. But overall, it moves very well. And it accelerates pretty quickly as well. And speed for braking, you're going to coast a lot. So if you were going to brake or something, make sure you've got room. Because I have my dampeners on, but it's still... It's slowing down really slow. Again, I don't know if it would slow down faster with the, within an atmosphere where it was kind of designed for. Uh, because... At least um, horizontally, you're not fighting gravity as far as forward and backward thrust. So the extra atmospheric thrusters might do more to increase the braking speed. But on that, we're going to move on to the last one. Alright, so last but not least, we have the JAXA Sequoia. I think I'm saying that right. There's a lot of serial number stuff in between there that I just didn't remember, couldn't, uh, couldn't remember, don't know what it means, so I just kind of ignored it, but there's, there's more to the title than that. Um, but obviously this is a very different ship. I really thought it was very interesting because it's a, it's very unique in that there's not a lot of typical shapes and things like you're used to seeing with a ship. There's no visible pods or wings or, um, you know, there's no glass view for a cockpit or a bridge or something like that so it's very different but i like different different makes things unique um so yeah this was very interesting now the description was very lore heavy in a fictional sense like there was a lot of uh story that the builder had made behind the ship which is cool i'm, I'm all for that um it just didn't hold a lot of bearing on actually reading about some of the ship functionalities in terms of hot bars or things you're not supposed to do or anything like that. It was kind of just explaining what it was capable of and stuff. So uh, I didn't read the whole thing. I read part of it and then was kind of like, ah, I'm not really seeing any like, you know, don't turn this on before you jump in here or anything real super important to know. So I kind of skipped over it. Um, there is a couple of fighter type ships, obviously, as you can see, we have a driller here. Um, this has a lot of thrusters, but I don't really see a whole lot else. Uh, there's a landing gear there, so this could be a hauler. Turn my lamps on. Uh, there's a collector there, and a landing gear there, and a lot of thrusters. Oh, and cargo container. Okay, so this is some kind of, uh, cargo hauler. By the way, I think this is a newer mod that I know I'm not really familiar with, but I really like that cockpit control type thing. That's really cool looking. I really like that. Uh, and this is your driller type ship, and then this looks like the fighter defense type of ship. So that's cool. And actually, again, there's some other newer mods in here that I'm not super familiar with, like large pipes, for example. Uh, but I really like the color palette and stuff in here, too. I think it works really well for the ship. A couple of dead tech cargo containers over here. There's an airlock there. I'm assuming this is the door. Close hanger, open hanger, force interior door open and close. So let's just go through this uh, one block airlock here. I love these things. They really do need to make these... Um, vanilla blocks they need to make uh, I, I stand by that 100 and more percent I know that doesn't mathematically make any sense but it's how I feel uh, we've got cryo chambers back here I'm kind of trying to leave my lights off so that we get kind of the mood that it's supposed to look like um, but yeah it's a little dim in here so you may or may not want some lights on when you're walking around. Uh, this gives us a little better view of the actual structure and stuff. We've got a projector there. Um, looks like oxygen generators on the sides there. 
and weapons that's a gravity generator and this has it does have the nanite system a mod uh, to repair itself and things and the arc reactors or reactor is there one looks like one okay I love all of the um, themed LCD screens and color palettes and stuff. Honestly, if it wasn't for some of the green, all of these purple lights and screens, it makes me feel like a Decepticon ship from Transformers. That's that's what I keep thinking because it's all like that light purple. Uh, but you've got these cool, these look like custom textures because um, they match the logo style. So they look like custom textures, which is really cool. I love that kind of stuff. Um, and then they've got their readouts and stuff matching the font text, which is cool. Uh, flight suit there. I'm a little confused, though. This is a locker room, med bay, that kind of thing. But where is the bridge? Oh, 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 it's not uniform. Okay, so there's a different path on this. Ah, okay. So here's the bridge. I gotcha. We got lockers and a couple of flight seats, some more panels, an azimuth seat. I'm guessing, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing this is the main? No? Maybe? Ah! Here's the main. Okay. Uh, so what are we looking at here? Camera view, main docking connector. That's a modded thumbnail so that's kind of interesting that you're using a modded, modded connector timer block hanger close hanger open headlights thrusters gyroscopes batteries arc reactors another camera a couple of on offs for um it says batteries but it's basically for for turrets because they kind of it's that is an actual term for turrets but it could get confusing if you didn't know that uh, little David Big Bertha. That's funny. Actually, this Big Bertha, I think, is that main hole in the front of the ship. I thought it was a thruster. Nanite control C15 jump drive. And then it looks fine. So, if we exit out here... Yeah, this this one right here, I thought was a, th a thruster. But I think that's actually that Big Bertha cannon, which is just... Whoever came up with that just likes overkill because that's huge i mean there's no like bullet thrust fire behind it or anything but you can still see the object because the slug is so huge that's just crazy now these guys i don't know where they are they might be these four front ones i can't tell Yeah, I think those are the four front ones there. And then you've got a lot of chain gun turrets off to the side here. Actually, those are some pretty cool chain guns. I think those are modded ones, too. I haven't seen those before. But those are kind of cool looking. I really like those. And then at some point, somewhere, maybe along the bottom, there's also supposedly... Um, the more cannon-like turrets, but I don't see those. These all look like chain guns to me. Unless I'm just reading the thumbnail wrong and they're actually all chain guns. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah. It's just a freaking huge bullet. It's so crazy. Oh, we should test out the flying of it. Okay. So, with the speed set... Um, gyroscope wise and turning and stuff it moves really good speed is a little slow on the acceleration but it's a big ship so that's kind of to be expected I wasn't really expecting it to just take off the line like that first one but turning wise for the size of the ship and stuff yeah it's it's actually pretty mobile I like it and then braking seems kind of about like the last one where it's gonna coast for a few minutes kind of thing or a little bit if you were at full speed. So anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I know the episode was a little shorter, but a couple of the ones that I picked were didn't really have a whole lot of an interior to explore, but I still like the look. Um, so yeah, I think on that note, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!